All right, so I'm so excited to make this. I found the recipe online, so I'm not taking credit for it at all. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a no-bake eggnog cheesecake. So hold on, don't shut it off because you don't like eggnog. Even if you don't like eggnog, you're gonna love it. So, I personally love eggnog. Um, it's an indulgence. I know last year, I didn't get any eggnog. This year though, I decided I'm gonna splurge. So, what we're gonna do, now there's different ways you can do this, depending on your budget. My budget is get the honey grams, food process it, and make your own crust. Or you can simply buy the pre-made graham cracker crust, or you can also buy the pre-made uh, crumbs. Whatever is in your budget, you go for it. Kim's budget is make it. So it's really simple and easy. What I do is I want to I pre-crush this a little bit, and then I pour that into my food processor. I already have some mixture here so you're trying to yield sorry there's noise there let me do this first you want to yield about three cups of graham cracker crust so which is going to be probably like um i mean three sleeves are going to get you over three cups so really i would say if you if you do one box it's going to yield you a little over the three so what we're going to do is we're going to process this bad boy and make ourselves some cheap crumbs and then what i'm going to do because <clears throat> if you can see some of those really didn't break down so i'm going to pour them back in and we're just going to grind it up just a little bit more. Okay, so basically you should have a pretty fine mixture here um, of the graham cracker. Uh, no big lumps. It should be pretty smooth here. Melt five tablespoons of butter. Going to pour in two tablespoons of brown sugar around equally distribute it. Put that brown sugar in. Now I'm gonna put the lid on because as with any handy dandy food processor, you can go ahead and just add the liquid into that. So I'm gonna put this on high. So once all of this is beautiful, it smells so good. You can smell the graham crackers and then the brown sugar and the butter. <clears throat> We are going to take our three cups and we're going to, I'm emptying it right now into my little Tupperware. Um, we're going to take our three cups and we're going to line the bottom of a pie dish. So what we're doing here is I put the three cups in and simply using the pressure of my hands, I am going to form the bottom of the cake. So as you can see, I'm kind of pushing that. So the crust will come up to the top, because that's what we want. And then I'm gonna take my handy dandy tool that I have there and make it a little prettier. So for right now, I'm just pushing that crust by using just the center, both pushing it up. Let me move that back so you guys can see. So then the crust is kind of rising in the pan. So I'm gonna take this orange spatula type thing and I'm just gonna gently push the mixture. Okay, I'm forming this here at the bottom. I don't know if that camera's picking that up or not. too but not that high but everything looks really good around I'm gonna put this in the fridge and I'll be back okay so now we've got the best part that we're gonna make and that's the cheesecake part so we've got 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream I've got one cup of 
sugar. I've got one teaspoon of rum extract. However, if you have actual rum at your house, go ahead and use a half a teaspoon. I'm not gonna buy a bottle of rum just for a half a teaspoon because I'm not gonna drink it. Then we're using, of course, the main ingredient, eggnog. So you want it about a half a cup <clears throat> of eggnog. Then we're going to have here, we've got a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we have a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And the final ingredient is actually in the bowl. Um, I have 16 ounces, which is two packets of softened cream cheese. It's in the bowl. So what we're going to do now, and I'm not going to play it because it gets loud. So in the bowl, the first thing we're going to put in is the cream cheese and the one cup of sugar. I'm going to remove what we just did in the bowl and I'm going to add the heavy whipping cream and we're going to whip that until the peaks form on the bowl. So I'll get that prepared and then show you what to do next. So now you'll know if your peaks are beginning to form because it's getting a little thicker. So I probably ran this maybe like five minutes or so, um, but you'll know that your peaks are forming because when you take it off of the spindle or if you're using a uh, handheld mixer, same principle. So I'm going to lower the bowl, but you can see literally inside the bowl, if I were to pull this contraption off, I now have peaks that have formed. That's basically what that means when they talk about peaks being formed. It is a peak that you can make within that. I'm going to lick this. You know that, guys, because that's what I used to do when I was a kid. You lick the bowl, right? Oh, my gosh, it's so good. Now, this is our eggnog concoction. So if you want to do before you fold it in, taste test to make sure. Do you have enough rum? flavoring? Do you have enough cinnamon, nutmeg to taste it? I certainly don't drink rum, so I can definitely taste the rum. But anyway, now I'm going to take this mixture and I'm going to put it in this whipped cream. Man, that tastes good. Absolutely. So I'm just wiping down the sides of the bowl here, <clears throat> getting all that in, and I'm just going to fold that with a little bigger spatula. So I think that's pretty good and folded. So again, you don't want to stir this. You just want to fold it. So that's all we're doing. I think it looks good and mixed. It looks pretty even. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this concoction and we're going to put it at the bottom. We're going to put it in our cake pan. So I'll be right back. So what I did is I just poured that into our graham cracker crust. There you go. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do, I told you guys that little trick before I'm folding the towel. So I have that glass sitting right here on the towel. And all I'm going to do is just gently tap it on the towel to make sure that any air bubbles, that it's just sitting in that crust like it should. So there we go. This is now gonna sit in the refrigerator. Um, mine will be overnight. And then when I take it out, um, I'm gonna spray right little, little 
ready whip around the edge to make it nice and pretty. But there you go, eggnog cheesecake. For your holiday, let me know if you make it. Simple, quick, and easy. So the best part of cooking is there's always something left on the spoon. So I always feel like I'm 12. Mmm. Guys. I'm gonna continue to enjoy this spoon while you guys continue to enjoy your holiday. Bye.